Housekeeping and safety go hand in hand. Good housekeeping is not only about keeping a clean job site, it lays the foundation for accident and fire prevention. The key is removing hazards so you don't have to work around them. Poor housekeeping can cause accidents such as tripping over loose objects on floors, stairs, and platforms, being hit by falling objects not properly stored, slipping on greasy, wet, or dirty surfaces, hitting protruding objects, poorly stacked items, or misplaced material, cutting, puncturing, or tearing the skin of hands or other parts of the body on projecting nails, wire, or steel strapping. To maintain a safe job site, housekeeping should be done regularly throughout the shift. And before you begin the job, make plans for the adequate disposal of waste and material. Make sure work areas are sufficiently illuminated, clear and litter-free. Place waste containers and dumpsters in convenient locations. Don't let trash pile up, so pick up things like boxes, scrap lumber, and other debris and properly dispose of them in a dumpster or other suitable container to prevent fire and tripping hazards. Also, keep all walkways and stairways throughout the job site free of materials such as tools, hoses, power cords, and supplies to prevent tripping. Always be on the lookout for protruding nails from lumber and make sure you remove or hammer the nails flush with the lumber to eliminate exposure to puncturing or laceration injuries. Spills should be cleared up as soon as possible, especially if there is a chance for someone to slip or if the liquid itself is hazardous. Store tools and materials where they are easily accessible. Even some back strains can be prevented if equipment, supplies, or tools are easy to reach. Finally, only eat and drink in designated areas on a job site. Fires are another hazard that can be prevented with good housekeeping practices. Catastrophic fires can occur on residential construction job sites because employees are often working with numerous flammable combustible materials, doing hot work such as welding and using temporary heating devices. Fires can result in serious damage to property, injuries, and even death. Make sure you know your company's fire protection plan, which includes the location of fire extinguishers, steps to warn others, and notifying the fire department. Ensure the evacuation routes, exits, fire extinguishers, first aid stations, and electrical panels are all easily accessible. It's important to be aware of potential fuel and ignition sources on the job site and follow established safety practices so you and others are protected while working. Flammable or explosive materials should be properly stored in clearly marked containers with lids and separated from other materials. Keep flammable materials away from heat sources such as blow torches or space heaters. Do not store flammable or explosive materials on stairways or exits and never store liquid propane gas inside buildings. Gasoline and other flammable liquids must be stored in safety cans outside or in an approved storage facility. Never smoke near flammable materials or in the area where it's stored. Smoking is typically prohibited on all construction sites. Additionally, avoid spraying paint and using solvents or other flammable materials in rooms with poor ventilation. The buildup of fumes and vapors can cause a fire or explosion if an ignition source is present. When using temporary heaters, follow the manufacturer's manual and make sure they are on a stable, level surface in a well-ventilated space. Keep them away from walls and other flammable materials like paper, wood, or other scrap. Before you begin hot work, such as welding, cutting, brazing, or grinding, protect the immovable fire hazards and take steps to confine the heat, sparks, and slag. Keep a fire watch in the work area for at least 30 minutes after completion of the hot work to make sure there's no further fire hazard. Fire extinguishers should be easy to see and be within reach. Fire extinguishers will typically be multi-purpose ABC that can put out most fires. ABC stands for Class A, combustible material like wood, paper, and cardboard. Class B is flammable and combustible liquids like gasoline, paint thinner and kerosene. Class C is an electrical fire. 
It's important to remember to only fight a fire if you have been trained to do so. An easy way to remember how to use a fire extinguisher is the PASS method. It spells out each step you should take to use the extinguisher. P equals pull the pin on the extinguisher. A equals aim at the base of the fire. S equals squeeze the handle and start shooting the extinguisher as you approach the fire, but always keep a safe distance away. The last S stands for sweep. While you're shooting the extinguisher, move it back and forth in a sweeping motion, still aiming at the base. This ensures that you get good enough coverage of the area that's on fire. Even though you may take all of these precautions, a fire may still occur. In the event of a fire, alert and make sure all workers exit the structure immediately and call 911. We're all responsible for job site safety. Good housekeeping and fire prevention gives homeowners, customers, and visitors a good impression of your job site and commitment to safety and quality workmanship.